Okay, everyone. So now we are learning the next network routing device, and that is the router. And we know that router is the WAN device, and that is going to provide the shortest path and even the best path. So first thing about the router is that it is the WAN device. So it is the WAN device. WAN device means it is the wide area network device. Whenever you are talking about any of the WAN. You should understand that there is for sure router is there. And second thing about the router is that it provides the best path. Best path means by which we can send the data. So best best path is provided. Now to understand the router, I am giving you one example. I am modifying this diagram to make you learn. So now we know that. Uh, we are assuming that this is the man of Delhi. So this is the man of Delhi. Let us suppose that this is the Delhi network in which we are having a bridge, and in this bridge we are having multiple switches. There can be multiple bridges also, no restriction. But I am assuming one bridge is there. Multiple switches are connected. So this is the metropolitan area of Delhi. Now, what if I want to communicate with the Gurugram also? So we should understand one thing. Every network is having the router. When we are talking about the wide area network, so we are having the router, and router is shown by this particular diagram that there is a circle inside that there is a cross. So let us suppose this is the router one, and this is the router of Delhi. Now let us suppose we are having the nearby cities also. So supposingly. There is one more router, router two, and this is the router of Gurugram, which is today Gurugram. And supposingly, this is one more router, which is nearby, and that is router three. It is of Noida, and there is one more router, that is router four, that is of. Ghaziabad. Now, we should know one thing that these routers are also connected with each other. So let us suppose that router one is connected to router four. It is connected to router two further. There is also the connection between router one and three, and from router three to R two, and also there is direct connection from router one to router two. So there are some connections which are available, and uh, that can be the random, depending upon the network provider, who is going to create all the network that can create any type, or even there can be the wire from R4 to R3. I am assuming the connection as the wired connection, but it can be the wireless also. That depends also. So I have assuming that the router to router communication is the wired now. After that, we should learn one more thing. If I am talking about the router R2, similarly in the Gurugram or the Gurugram, there will be some bridge, and that bridge will be connected to some other switches, and those will be connected to some their computer in the similar fashion. Similarly, all other cities will be having their own network, like they are having their bridges. they will be having their further switches similar fashion and also with the ghaziabad their bridge and further switches as well so if i am talking about the router you should understand one thing i am talking about the whole network but here how they are working how they are communicating what is the lan we know that the lan is where the switches are there hubs are there what is the man we know that whenever we are combining more than the 10 km of range then man is there but now the question is which one is the wan whenever we are connecting all the routers together in some fashion now that router to router communication is taken as the wan so this particular area is called the wide area network in which we are having the routers so these are the routers which are present and in that we are having the interconnecting cables so the interconnecting cables which we are talking about these are there 
so that is also called the van in the van we are having the subnet this is the subnet subnet is the small network so if i talk about van the van is the combination of the bridges switches routers interconnecting cables and if i talk about the small area in which only routers are present and wires are present that is called the subnet so the area which i have mentioned with the red circle that is the subnet so this one is the wide area network and in the wide area network router is the essential device without router there cannot be a van now let us suppose that uh, computer c2 of delhi want to communicate to the computer of gurugram let us suppose that the computer is here and i am mentioning the computer as c 40 now what will happen the data will start going from c1 to the switch 1 it will not find here it will move further it will go to the bridge because we know that it is going outside now bridge will find that it is not present in any of the switches inside the network it will forward to the router now here with the router we are having three options we know that router is providing the best path we are having three options option number 1 it can go from r4 to r2 it can go from r3 to r2 or it can directly go from r1 to r2 so we know that obviously it will go the go with the direct path and send to the r2 means the router of the gurgaon and it will further send to the bridges further send to the switch and it will further send to the c40 where we want to send the data but we must understand one important thing the router is taking the shortest path right now but what if the shortest path is congested in that case router is very much intelligent that it can take some other path also so that's why i have mentioned the best path best path means it is going to find out the best path which depend upon the situation let us suppose that i want to go to the home and i am in uh, delhi right now i want to go to gurgaon let us suppose that there are two paths in one path there are two toll bridges i am assuming and every toll bridge take 1000 rupees i am again assuming but it is the shortest path and there is one more longer path very much longer but there is no toll now it depend upon me what is my priority what is best according to me if price is my priority then i will go with the longer path because i don't want to spend anything on the toll but if time is my priority i want the time money can be going no problem i need time i want to reach fast i will take the toll i can spend 2000 so that depend upon the decision making so all this decision making is done by the router so there are various parameters on which the router work so router is the wan device and there are multiple types of routers are there there are static router and the dynamic router also it is not actually the router it is the routing static routing and dynamic routing and multiple principles are there of that routing but we should understand that router is the wan device and it select the best path